Letting yourself go now that summer's over, huh? Hitting the chocolate-covered cherries. Uh, I didn't even realize I was eating. Are you okay? It's not like you. Yeah, what I'm thinking about is not like me either. Okay. So, what are you thinking about? Oh, you don't want to know. Oh, no. No, stop thinking. Just run away, do your filing. Don't look back. Felix, don't tell me. I'm doing everything in my power not to. You're moaning over Brad the Cad. What are you doing here? I need to speak to Dante and Lulu. There's something they need to know. Yeah, we're kind of in the middle of something here. And I wouldn't interrupt if it wasn't absolutely necessary. It's about the baby. Anything about Brad? Felix, look. Hey, I know that you've been alone for a long time, but Brad is not the answer. I know you're trying to be helpful and concerned, but it's coming off as patronizing. Look, I'm just being practical. He's a sneak, he's a blackmailer, and a voyeur who watches you in the shower. All of the above. I so wanted to be wrong about him. Yeah, well, you weren't. The guy is a sneak. I know that. I even told him that he was incapable of doing the right thing. I even challenged him to do something helpful, something selfless. And what'd he do? Slither back under a rock, wait yeah. for your next shower? I thought so. But then I ran into Ellie earlier, and she said that Brad ran out of here going on about how he's on his way somewhere to do the right thing. How could he possibly know? Brad, this is a sacred event, a private family ceremony. You have no business here. Oh, I have business here. Not as much as you. Okay, who who is this guy and what is he doing interrupting my grandbaby's christening? I'd like to know that too. Wait a minute, I, I know you. Yeah, he works in the hospital lab. I'm the manager. Only because you made a deal with Britt Westbourne. <laughs> you know, if you all would have just let me speak, I could have been done and gone by now. If I say what you have to say and get it over with. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Dante, but I must object. Oh, I'll bet you Nobody must. wants to hear what you have to say, not when you turn your back on your own son. Okay, uh, you got me all turned around here. What, what baby are we talking about? The Westbourne baby or this one? that he was going off to do the right thing. And that's what Ellie said. Sounds to me like he said it in front of her just so he can get back to you. Wait, so you think this is another con? Are you kidding? You threw down the gauntlet, told Brad that he couldn't do it, and now he's pulling out the smoke and mirrors to show you that he can. Oh my God, Sabrina, what have I done? Have I turned you into a jaded skeptic? <laughs> you used to be so eager about giving everyone the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, well, everyone but Brad. Mm. And Britt. And any time you might end up getting hurt. And then... I'm just as skeptical as you were when Britt was playing all of her games. You're such a good friend. It's just my turn. Look, Felix, whatever Brad comes back and tells you, don't trust him, okay? I know, I know, but I can't help thinking what right thing he's gonna try to convince me he's done. I mean, it's not like he's gonna step up and be the Brit's baby daddy. Are you kidding? <laughs> Brad, changing diapers, singing lullabies, saving for college, no. <laughs> I don't see it. As a matter of fact, I don't see any of it. I mean, of all the semen and all the sperm banks in all the world, why did Brit choose Brad's to make a baby to pass off as Patrick's? Maybe his was the handiest. So to speak. Yes, Brad. Why don't you tell us which baby you're talking about here? Well, it's, uh, I, uh... <clears throat> uh okay, so, uh, the, the baby... Which baby? You came up to me a few weeks ago in the hospital and you said something about... Patrick not being Britt Westbourne's baby's father, but you were? I think that's right, but that's not why I'm here. And you had a black eye because Patrick punched you. Not hard enough, obviously. Wait, 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 wait. You're interrupting this christening so you can file some kind of a report? Did it ever occur to you to go to the police station? You know, in the interest of expediting justice, why don't I escort you there myself? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I mean, what's going on? Are you in trouble or something? No, no, I'm not, I'm not in trouble. I'm trying to rate a wrong. Look, I don't, I don't know why you choose to announce it here, but if you're finally ready to step up and be a father, your son, don't let anyone here stop you. Look, this isn't about Westbourne's baby, okay? It's about yours. Wait a second. Wait, you're the lab manager. Is there something wrong with Connie? Is our baby sick? No, no, it's, it's nothing like that. Connie, she, she's fine. Well, then what is so urgent? What do you have to tell us about our baby? This baby isn't yours. She's Maxie's.
Sabrina would be ecstatic now that Brit's finally out of your lives. We were. I mean, we, we are. Yeah. But what? No, I mean, it, it's, it's good. Everything started to kind of calm down for me and Sabrina. I mean, no Brit, no, no baby. I mean, mm -hmm. But then another problem showed up. What? Her ex-boyfriend. This guy that she dated in Puerto Rico. He's in town and he wants her back. Does he now? Yeah, and he went right to work on Sabrina trying to undermine our relationship. Undermining it how? The first time that the three of us were in the room together, he threw it right in my face. I'm still wearing my wedding ring. Honestly, I could care less if that baby's Brad's. After everything that he helped Britt get away with, and after everything that he's done to you, and God knows how many other people... Okay, he's run out of chances. Good. So how about uh, your good-looking friend, uh, Carlos? Did he find you? He found me, all right. And any chance he asked about me? Oh, no. He's straight. You sure? Positive. And you know this because? Because he's my ex-boyfriend. Oh! <laughs> so what happened when uh, he found you? Any regrets? No. He has a few, though. About you? Don't act so surprised. He wants me back. Ooh, talk to me, sister. Brad, you're confused. Mm, no, I'm not. I am. Uh, it's very simple, really, and I appreciate your concern, but Maxie may have carried our daughter for us, but Connie is definitely our flesh and blood. No, I know Maxie was your surrogate, but this baby isn't your flesh and blood. She's Maxie's. That doesn't make any sense. Where would you get an idea like that? From him. I, I, I never told you any such thing. I, I never said you told me. I heard you say it. To Maxie. So what you're saying is you heard Spinelli tell Maxie that she was Connie's biological mother? I accidentally overheard. I wasn't smart. What do you think you heard them say exactly? I heard Spinelli say, word for word, no one will ever know Dante and Lula's daughter is actually our biological child. I, I don't know who you uh, are, but you're really Wait a delusional. second, wait a second. You are saying that our little Connie is not only Maxie's daughter, that she's Spinelli's too. You are telling me that the two of them are her biological parents. That's exactly what I heard. Oh, you are out of your mind. You are completely out of your mind. Fine. Believe me, don't believe me. I was just trying to do the right Maxie, thing. Maxie, Spinelli, you, you never had this supposed conversation, right? Brad here is, he's making it up, right? 